Hi everyone. Whoa! I went a little crazy with the effects. I apologize. Here comes a cool looking laser. Laser noise. I could do the effects, but I couldn't figure out how to do the audio for the effects. Anyways, my name is Mr. Town, and you're about to enter the awesomest program here at the Tech Center. Electrical wiring. Quick side note, I love prints. Alright, back to it. Electrical wiring. Star swipe. There's a picture of me and my wrist with my Prince tattoo and, and our pipe bending lab. What I'm going to talk to y'all about while you are touring our awesome shop is a couple of the certi- or a few of the certifications you can earn while you're in my class. You can get OSHA 10, NCCER Core Curriculum, NCCER Electrical Level 1. Both of those two are great for going to non-union apprenticeships or continuing your education at CSM. You can get confined space training, National Safety Council First Aid, National Safety Council CPR, and we just added this year Snap-on Multimeter Certification. In fact, you work hard enough, you can earn certifications in other classes. Just last year, we had an electrical wiring student earn herself a welding certification. And while there's a lot of great classes here at the Tech Center, I'll tell you why the electrical wiring class is the best. First off, I'm going to be the teacher that tells you right up front, you're not even in my class yet, and I'm going to tell you how to earn an A in my class. Show up, work hard, and don't be a turd. That's it. Matter of fact, you do that in anything in your life, and you'll be successful. But especially in my class, that's how you can earn yourself an A. And in my class, since you're here for two periods your first year, that counts as two A's. Magic Harry Potter! Check out this cool student project right here. We call it The Box. The student came to me with an idea. I said, make it happen, Captain. And he did. Check out this cool piece, The Mock-Up. It says it's under construction, but here's a cool secret. It's always going to be under construction. Because you, the students, will always be the ones rewiring it, putting new walls up. You can see we got cable tray up. That bench, by the way, was built by students. Downstairs server room. We're gonna go upstairs and check out the upstairs server room in a second. This project here, we work with IT networking very closely on this project. And it's really high tech, really innovative. And we actually work with a industry partner, IET, for all of our low voltage needs and training. Um, Also another company called AV3. Again, everything up here built by the students. Confined space training, that's where we do it, right there. Let's go check out this other server room. And while we do work closely with IT networking on this project, we work with a lot of classes on a lot of different projects. We work with engineering, production engineering, welding, graphics communications. We even had students go up and help culinary make Christmas cookies one time. Oh man, look how cool that shop looks. But there's some more stuff we haven't seen yet. Let's head back downstairs. Here's another student built project. Let's take a look inside. Oh man, they left the tools out. They're gonna hear about that tomorrow. Let's head outside to the space frame. You don't feel like working inside some days? Come on outside. We're covered, out of the weather. It'll still get cold, but you'll stay out of the rain. That's a lot of our storage outside. That's one of our sea crates. That's carpentry sea crate. This sea crate over here is really cool because we have a solar project hooked up to it. If you want to know any more about this pro- this program, though, you're gonna have to ask me in the Q and A session. Check this out real fast. Turn it on. They put those devices up. They put the pipe up, the strut, the MC. They wired all of this up themselves. First year students, by the way. Boom, see you in the Q&A.